Welcome to Lab Coat. This video shows the basics of creating a clinical program that can ask a population of patients a series of clinical surveys on personal devices. This enables the acquisition of real-time, continuous longitudinal data to improve clinical outcomes, improve patient experience, provide adaptive clinical delivery, and inform new questions. The first step is to build a program. Here we begin by building a clinical program using a simple web application by a clinician, administrator, or other healthcare provider. Next, we add surveys. Once the program is created, surveys can either be pulled down from a database of surveys or assembled on the fly from a database of questions. New questions can be easily created and entered in order to create any custom survey. Next, we enroll patients. Enrolling patients is easy and can be done singularly in clinic or prior to clinic from the patient's home. This saves valuable time. It can also be done en masse using a CSV file import of email addresses targeted towards patients. In this case, each patient receives only the surveys relevant to their condition, diseases, or symptoms. This process is entirely automated and highly intelligent. We now switch gears to the patient driving from here. The patient receives a redemption code from the system and enters that to connect their surveys to the clinical program. A simple step finds and activates the program, starting with the first survey or surveys. This process is important because it provides the patient with the ability to participate in several programs across many clinicians, primary care physicians, specialists, nurse practitioners, nurses, and many other clinical professionals across time. The patient also has a record of the details for every program, including a timeline with relevant details within it. Within a timeline, they can directly answer surveys within appropriate windows. For instance, pain response to medication five days post-surgery. This means that data is captured precisely and only when necessary with notification about expiry and reminders built into the system. When surveys are complete or closed for a period, they cannot be completed. Control of the survey process rests with the patient. They can contact the researcher through the platform, visit relevant clinical resources, and even withdraw. All controls are available in the settings menu and under the control of the patient. We now switch back to a clinical view, in this case, Dashboard 1. This dashboard views data captured from devices and rolled it up into a simple yet powerful dashboard presentation. This particular one shows seven different spinal surgeries with color coding. Each block represents a patient and it's possible to click a block and pull up individual patient data. This is entirely customizable. Any viewer can see data the way they want and according to the roles and authorizations for which they've been provided. For instance, a medical director could see all surgeons. A surgeon could only see their own. Surgeries can be selected and deselected. They have real-time analytics, can show change, time intervals can be adjusted to capture relevant periods, and surgeons can be selected or deselected as well. All of this is provided without administrative burden on clinicians so that their efforts can both scale vertically and extend horizontally. All of this at a fraction of the cost of current practice and with more and better care to drive evidence-based precision care outcomes. It is also designed such that clinicians, administrators, and others need not be data scientists in order to benefit real-time and make clinical adaptations. As the accompanying graph shows, the burden of administration in healthcare is profound. We can also go the other way. Select surgery type and see where individual performance and the experience of patients lands. There may be temporal data that can reveal time of day, day of week factors that affect individual surgeons, across all surgeons, or across surgery types. This data is invaluable to inform procedural, protocol, and process changes, in addition to leading to new research investigations, many with unforeseen questions without this data being provided. We now switch to a slightly different clinical view. Dashboard 2 shows a different view of similar data using either relative or comparative parameters. We can select a surgery type and instantly adjust the data view to the other panels. We can scroll over data graphs and see the underlying data values instantly, whether pre or post-op scores by date, by surgeon, by surgery, or any other parameter that we can select. Again, parameters can be created by individuals for their own purposes. Dashboards are entirely personal. We can click on a surgeon on the bottom right 
and see their performance, as measured by patient experience, on the top right, by surgery. In some cases, wide variation of outcome and experience is shown across surgeries by each surgeon. This can direct coaching, training, and resource decisions. The ability to acquire, analyze, assess, and action clinical data is now within the reach of clinicians, patients, and administrators alike. Having such real-time data brings all actors together. It liberates data from impenetrable vaults, it opens outcomes and experiences to measurement, and it enables adaptive clinical delivery to be achieved continuously. This is how continuous healthcare improvement can be informed, actioned, and empowered. Welcome to LabCoat. Welcome to Adaptive Clinical Delivery.